Yeah, Steve, you could imagine students absolutely stunned by this today, all happening just a few days before graduation on Monday. In addition to pouring over these documents tonight, we also went to Mr. Harrison's Wake County home to see if he wanted to share his side of things. I'm going to ask very nicely that you just respect our privacy, okay? I understand. Thank I you. It. We left the Holly Springs home of Ray Harrison without hearing from Harrison himself. But others are speaking up about the now former assistant principal and Hillside High School football coach charged with attempted rape tonight. When it comes down to something like this, it's just like, it's unspeakable, you know, it's unreal. This Hillside student and football player didn't want his face to be shown on camera, but he wanted to talk about his coach. When we got the news, I mean, we was just speechless. Like, he's not even the type of guy that would do something like that from our perspective. Like, he's a real great guy. I mean, good coach, very great coach. Multiple documents from the Durham County Courthouse lay out the indictment against Harrison about how he allegedly broke into a Durham home, quote, with intent to terrorize and injure an occupant of that building. We're not naming the woman since she's the alleged victim of a sexual assault, but police tonight have told us the person is not a student. Really? I don't know. It's, I'm speechless. I'm speechless about it. Those documents also show the alleged attack happened in mid-March. DPS said he was suspended from his job pending the outcome of the investigation. Harrison is a fixture here at Hillside, not just on the gridiron. He taught here in the mid 2000s before coming back as an administrator in 2014. Two of his three sons also graduated from Hillside. We also chatted with a few former students down the street from Hillside High School today. They described Harrison as a great guy and a great father figure, especially to his football players. Harrison has resigned his position. That's effective at the end of this month. He is also due back in court here on June 26th. We will be there. Steve. They call him Coach Ray. We know he is uh, very well known in the Durham community and much more to learn about these allegations as the investigation proceeds. Josh Chapin, thanks.